Thanks for staying with us. This is Closing Bell, East Africa. As sales in smart TVs are expected to boom as we head into Friday, Cyber Monday and Thanksgiving weekend, experts warn that hackers are now becoming sophisticated, even enough to punch a hole on cyber defenses on smart TV users. We spoke to Pratik Suri, the CEO of Mesa Group. He's more. You've likely to heard plenty about need to secure your laptop, mobile phones and hardware from hackers, malware and you know other people. But did you know that your smart TV also requires cyber security? Now you know smart TV security is important because tech savvy hackers can enter into your device and you know even they can take control of your device without you knowing it. And uh, you know if we talk about the major four concerns which we see right now today is that you know, there are several apps and the OTT platforms which are installed in the smart TV functions. There are certain TVs which have a camera also and the mic device also. And, you know, other people, other tech you know, hackers can even spy your TV and, you know, get into the system and see what's happening in the house or everything. And uh, accessible to the social media application, which, of course, currently users, you know, are fond of social media application. The world is running through digital marketing and you know the changes they can even modify the system and do whatever things you know in the system so you know there are but yet you should, one should not be you know fear get feared of it you know there are ways to protect it also you know if you keep updating the software properly and you know if you see after even after updating there are even security options in the smart tv which users you know should always have access what device they are using right and can be aware of it before using it and you know one should always download the trustworthy applications because the, we see in the advertisement also in the google ads and everywhere so many application options are coming and you know when we read about the caption of the application everyone gets fascinated okay you know let's download this application and try it once without even checking it this you know how safe it is so for me you know what makes a home complete is smart tv and you know if the talk about the African market, Africa is poised to be next hub of technology market because new startup ecosystem, you know, is helping to emerge countries' most pertinent challenges. And, you know, the rising rate of mobile tech adoption and the tech savvy population rising in Africa make the continent prime candidate for technology. So technology is growing in Africa along with the technology growing in any part of the world, cyber threat or the cyber security it is. But users and viewers should understand what cyber security like you know education is important i think you mentioned that most manufacturers are now are integrating more uh, software features within smart tvs uh, do we see the trend of the cyber uh, crimes uh, or the attempts of cyber criminals uh, towards these items increasing what are, what are the trends like you know, like I said, in the smart TVs, earlier people used to think laptop mobile phones are necessary to protect from viruses and the malwares, but now the smart TV, as I told you, a user and the potential threat hacker can enter into your device and even take control of your device, you know, and give them data and steal all the data. Like, you know, we saw in the US, there was a, you know, lawsuit file, which we saw in the newspaper for the Vizio company about the smart TVs, where, you know, the data was going out to you know, to the harmful advertisement people and this was very dangerous and you know even if you if you see you know we saw the fbi getting into the case so you know there are ways to protect us like i said before one should be educated you know about cyber people don't know what, what people just assume you know the tv just switch on and use their favorite channels and download any application and then as we head into the uh, Black Friday tomorrow, uh, Thanksgiving weekend, and obviously the Black Monday. Are we likely, obviously, because we're we, we're likely to see uh, the sales of smart TVs really booming yeah, because of the many discounts and deals that most manufacturers are giving already. Are we likely to see more cyber uh, attacks over this weekend? Ah, this is an interesting question, you know. Now, smart TVs are dominating the industry and technology sector, and there is no mystery to it. Even we are one of the largest suppliers of the LED TV panels in Africa market for, you know, resellers of various panel manufacturers. Now, you know, it, the trend of moving into smart functions as we have seen during the time of pandemic, 
The pandemic drove home high value of personal data to the global economy while highlighting its vulnerability to abuse and attack. In response, government of different parts of the world, including those in Africa, you know, have revamped its policy for the data regulations and privacy policies. More than 20 years ago, internet drove an upheaval in the advertising industry. But, you know, it's ever certain newspaper and magazines which rely, you know, mostly on the print advertisements, which try to dethrone the television advertisement was a key way of making the advertisements. But now that the system, which is ballooned into $350 billion industry, which is being, being dismantled, Apple and Google have, you know, started revamping their strategies, you know, and have found the tools that block the marketers to go inside and collect the harmful data and, you know, to give harm to anyone. And, you know, uh, Google, which depends on its digital ads, is trying to reinvent itself by trying to, you know, have it both ways. Even aiming continue because its revenue comes mostly from the Google ads. And at the same time, it protects the marketers, you know, from not getting into it. So, you know, recently we saw, you know, in, even in the TikTok and Google analytics, which, you know, which are one of the biggest applications worldwide, we saw, you know, in that also, you know, there was a very much debate and discussion was happening, you know, but the European Consumer Protection Association recently filed a complaint against EU Commission, you know. Children and the people who are under age of 20 who make the maximum users for these type of applications, you know, are the most targeted people and the data gets, you know, used without even asking their con uh, consent. And this was followed by the uh, by a class A lawsuit, $92 million, you know, this was a hefty fine because without the proper consent, they shared the data. And uh, recently I was reading the article 49 of general data regulation protection, you know, GDPR that personal data cannot be transferred to third country unless the country provides an adequate level of data collection. Alternatively, you know, the proper safeguards are put in a place. Since Google is a US company and they have office in data, they have office and data collection in European Union also. So they regularly used to transfer data from European Union to US, which is also illegal. So, you know, right now the entire world, you know, they are coming up against not to share the information without the consent. All right. Thank you so much. Well, that brings us to the close of this edition of Closing Bell East Africa. Right at the top of the hour, stay tuned. We have Closing Bell South Africa. Have a great evening.